All right, so I didn't make you watch me take it out of the vise and put it back to set up for the bore scope, but here we are in the same position that it was before. We haven't looked at it yet. We're gonna go up to the camera here. We are right at the end of the chamber and right here should be the case mount into the free bore. It's changed color a little bit. It's got a lot of erosion and fire cracking. You actually might be able to see it a little better now that it's clean and the, the galling. This is again that that rifling, the beginning of that rifling is quite eroded. Well, let's go ahead and see. It definitely looks like the lands got polished where the copper deposits were. Um, it definitely probably looks slicker than it did before. But this barrel is absolutely in bad condition, which makes it a really good example for the bore scope. That's what you can expect from the United States Product Company bore paste. As you can see, if we get down to some decent rifling that got cleaned, you know, in about five swipes, it looks pretty nice. If you look at it with your naked eye, it looks nearly perfect. It definitely did it uh, justice here. But fire cracking remains. That's going to be in any broken barrel. It's not going to go away. Don't think it should disappear. A seasoned barrel is going to have that. It's part of how your gun shoots and how it settles. So that's okay. Again, the mo major concern was back here at the throat, the throat erosion. This barrel, uh, with the condition that the, the rifling is in at the end, I'd probably set it back and see if it shoots again. You could save the customer a couple bucks over reloading or rebarreling and see if his reloads and everything still shoot through the gun. And that's where we're going to start. Thanks.